Okay. The good news is I'm having a pretty fabulous hair day. And you know it's a good hair day when you can tell and you're laying down. The bad news is I threw my back out. I mean, I don't know if that's like an exact way to say it or if that's like an old person term that my grandmother used. But um, for all intents and purposes, I've thrown my back out. So um, I'm pretty flat here. Oh, getting a text. Thumbs up, Sherry. Let's book that Disneyland trip. Sherry's watching. Sherry's one of two friends I allow to watch my YouTube channel. By the way, I didn't tell you this yet when we were texting Sherry through my back out. I should be okay in a day or two. I'm trying to get in with my sweet little old lady massage therapist just right down the road. Um, and of course I'm stretching and icing and heating and um, Cairo gun massaging. But alas, there will be a day and a half at least probably where this is where I remain. So I have a few little tiny tidies filmed that I can add some of the footage to this, but I just barely messaged the tiny tidy team in Instagram and said, everybody, it's our 100th week of tiny tidy Tuesday. Not all of us have been here for all 100 weeks, but many of us have, which means we're close to the two year mark that I have uploaded a tiny tidy Tuesday every week. And my amazing team that joins me Often, they dip in and out, but um, we always have a team of some sort each Tuesday for our tiny tidy list. Oh, uh, in case you're new here, <laughs> in case you're new here, this is not how I always film tiny tidies, but I will do some sort of a tiny tidy. I'll either add footage or I'll um, tiny tidy my nightstand, but um, it's week 100 and it, in honor of week 100, it couldn't be more fitting that I'm going to go ahead and upload my tiny tidy from this position in bed and I will manage a tiny tidy of some sort because here at the helpful home on tiny tidy Tuesdays we encourage you to take a small bite out of any big job and or just do any little tiny tidy that is good for your mind because many of us here suffer with chronic health conditions and um you know limited stamina etc limited mobility on occasion. Um, so today, in honor of our 100th episode of Tiny Tidy Tuesday, and I've done two of those in my Hannibal Lecter cooling face mask. Yeah, I have when my face was covered in hives because of a flare-up. So um, today we're going to do our first laid flat with a back injury, Tiny Tidy Tuesday. Like I said, at the end here, I'll pop in some sort of Tiny Tidy. But what I asked the girls to do was, if they so desired, to answer any five to 10 of these questions that I sent them. I did not write these questions. I got them off of the interweb. I simply Googled get to know me tag YouTube questions and I screenshotted a section. I scrolled and I screenshotted a section so that I didn't have any control over my questions. Like I didn't want to handpick myself questions because how creepy would that be? I could totally self-servingly choose all of the questions that made me sound amazing. So I just scrolled and I screenshot and I think there were 16 in the screenshot and I told everybody they could pick five or 10 so you could get to know the members of the Tiny Tidy team. I was just looking, do I look psycho? I haven't like looked at myself yet. I look a little psycho, but like I said, could I be having a better hair day? I mean, you know it's a good hair day when your hair looks good and you're flat in bed. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to one take this puppy. Let's get my list. <laughs> okay, here's my list. And I will answer five to ten of my get to know the tiny tidy Tuesday tag questions. Like I said, I scrolled and screenshot it. So I have not seen these questions either. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should just do all of them so that I'm not handpicking. Um, okay. Number one, fondest childhood memory. This is get to know the tiny tidy team. I'm Sunday Dawn from the helpful home in case you're new here. And here are some random factoids about myself. Fondest childhood memory. Um, probably my fondest, I want to, I'm not going to say like it's the very fondest childhood memory, but one of my earliest fond childhood memories, we'll go with that, is um, one of my uncles, somebody I was very close to. I had just come out of foster care, moved in with my grandmother. And so I hadn't had very much in my life positive interaction with adults. 
and a uncle that later became my brother by adoption um, read me the Chronicles of Narnia, all of them. But we started with The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and I was five. Yeah, I think it was five. Rosie, my granddaughter Rosie, turned five yesterday. Oh, yesterday, and she ate a pickle. That's a side note, but she's been telling her papa for years that when she turned five, she'd try a pickle. But not until she was five. Well, that date came, and she cashed that check, so she did it. She tried a pickle. A bite of pickle too. I have to eat all five. So you can yep. pick which one you're gonna take one bite of, and we're all gonna take a bite. Maybe pick the small one. It can be the small one. Or Rose. You like the small one? He's the smallest. Yeah. I'm gonna take this one. Oh, Ooh, go for oh, it. Oh, that's good. Good. Chew it up. I'm gonna take a bite of mine. It's nice and crunchy. Uh -huh. It's a little sour. Mm -hmm. What Everybody do you else want a pickle, Papa? Yeah, I want to. Is it oh, yummy or, or not yummy? It was <laughs> yummy. Wow, you want you're one big. more bite, or does that all? Take a big bite. She did a whole She bite, did yeah. very good. She can be done. Yeah, that's she a did big very bite. Good, good job, Rosie. <laughs> yeah. Good job, bro. She was very brave. She tried it. She didn't want any more. She said it was fine. But yeah. So I was granddaughter Rosie's age, which is five, which is just mind blowing that that's when I came out of foster care and moved in with my grandmother. Um, but yeah, I was Rosie's age and my first adult ever in my life showed me like actual attention. Like, I think you'd like this book and read me The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. And it is my earliest fond childhood memory, I would say. Speak any languages. Uh, je parle un peu français, je ne parle pas français beaucoup. Um, yeah, speak a little French. Not a lot of French, just a little bit. Um, favorite YouTubers. Okay, mostly I watch obviously kind of like a home channel. Um, I like the organized soprano, Kay. I, she gave me a shout out on her channel that was single handedly the biggest uptick in subscribers I'd ever had. And she listed me as one of her top 10 YouTube channels. Oh, my fireplace for your home. My fireplace for your home just went off. Oh, this is what happens when you're shooting in real time. There you go. Um, sorry, we hit a commercial on fireplace for your home because that's what I do when I'm trapped in bed for ambiance. Um, live your best life, people. Um, but yeah, the Organized Soprano is one of my favorite organizing channels and she gave me a sweet shout out as one of her top 10 organizing channels on YouTube. And that's like my claim to fame on YouTube is that Kay knew who I was and gave me a shout out. I should link that video. I probably will. It's kind of funny. I, I will link that video because I basically have like a sob fest because it's so strange to be watching. Uh, nobody told me. I just was watching my favorite YouTuber organizing YouTuber's channel and she listed me in one of her top 10 organizing channels, my tiny little channel. Um, I also watch a lot of art channels. I love the unexpected gypsy. Love her. I love Sandy Hester, both amazing artists and great YouTubers. Learn a lot of interesting, um, tidbits about art and being a professional artist online. Who else do I love? Um, I love living the life you love, Kay. She's just a sweet little British YouTuber. She just had her baby, so she's on a little bit of a break. But she does very beautiful, peaceful home content. Love that on a rainy day. Um, do I consider myself an introvert or an extrovert? And me and a couple of the ladies from the Tiny Tidy team um, recently had kind of a chat about this in our video chat group on IG where we kind of... Um, get the playlist and all that information for our, for our weekly upload. Um, but one day some of the girls were talking about, are you an introvert or an extrovert? And I honestly think I agree with Joy. If I remember correctly, she said she was an introverted extrovert. Like, I think there's a hybrid. I've always thought I was an extrovert. Um, I'm not intimidated by large groups of people. I don't mind going out and having a good time, but the older I get, the more I really value although I always have really valued my alone time. So the older I get, I really just, I stay in more than I used to. Some of that is health reasons, but, but yeah, so I'm an introverted extrovert. I'm probably an extrovert first, but I've really learned to, um, to really enjoy just some peaceful downtime at home. Tattoos or piercings? Wouldn't you like to know? No, actually, I have like the normal piercings. I actually have three 
hole piercings in each of my ears. So I have six piercings technically. One of my thirds has recently slightly grown in. I'm getting that redone here very soon in just a couple of weeks. So I will be back from five ear piercings to six. Um, I don't have a tattoo, but boy, did I come close to really wanting to get one in Hawaii. Um, yeah, we had such an amazing turtle um, experience there that, that was like hubby and I were like jokingly rolling around the idea of getting hidden turtles tattooed on our bodies somewhere that um, our children would only find someday when they were taking care of us when we were old. Uh, didn't happen. Didn't happen. No worries. But, uh, or did it? Collections. Do we have any collections? Man, I really didn't look at these before. Um, I probably collect a lot of things because I am not a minimalist. I am definitely an intentionalist. I That is a word that has been around the ethosphere here in YouTube, and um, it probably describes me the most. I am very organized. I am very efficient. I'm not like trying to like toot my own horn. Those are just know thyself. Those are things about me. Um, but I do really like my things and I keep the things that I love and have meaning to me in an organized, efficient manner. That being said, I do, I guess you could say, have a collection of globes. I probably have eight or so. Um, I have an antique book collection and I've been collecting those since I was a child. Mrs. Disney used to have an antique store in New Orleans Square in Disney, 11 minutes in. I'm going to speed this up. Um, it was called the one of a kind shop. Leave in the comments below. If you know the one of a kind shop, Christine, my Disney queen, one of my sweet subscribers is another Disney fan. And the one of a kind shop is probably about where <sighs> there's sort of a new shop that has haunted mansion stuff. I mean, it's not a new shop. It's been there forever. It's just right now it's kind of been re-outfitted to carry villains and haunted mansion things. So probably on the corner of Esplanade and Royal Street would be my guess. Anyways, New Orleans Square in Disney, the one-of-a-kind shop, and there was just rows and rows of beautiful antique books. And those antique books have been in every room I've ever had since I was a child. No. Since I was a teenager. Child, teenager, young, young teenager. Um, and in all of our homes and it, they're in my living room on my entertainment unit. And I've since continued to collect from that antique store and other antique stores and, you know, tag sales and things like that. So I do have a beautiful antique book collection. I don't know how many of those I have, maybe 50. Um, I'm pretty picky about which ones I bring in my collection. I love them. I think they're all beautiful, but I really only bring in something I would read or use. Um, seashells. I have a lot of seashells because my grandmother collected seashells. So I have a huge amount of my grandmother's seashells. And then I birthed two daughters, one of whom is a collector of all the things. So all the seashells and the rocks and um, anything else, pine cones. And so I have most of the things she, I used to have every single thing she brought home. We did cull through those um, not too long ago when we were cleaning out their bedrooms. And that's the daughter that is a new mama, brand new mama. So it just became a Nana again. Here's one of my Nana necklaces. Um, and yeah, I've been helping her adjust to new mama life, but alas, she's gonna have about a day and a half without a helper and she's doing just great with new grandbaby, Rick Aaron. Um, okay, next question. Those are probably, probably my main collections. Three adjectives to describe myself. I'll go ahead and do that one because I just said organized and efficient. And I'm just going to say it. I'm organized and efficient. But I will also add a little bit neurotic because aren't we all? And like all of your adjectives can't be self-serving adjectives. Um, celebrity crush. I'm going to go. This will not age well because this is so like time current. Current. Um, but Jeremy Allen White. Anybody else watching The Bear? Jeremy Allen White. My new celebrity crush. And yes, hubby does know, and he does watch the show with me. Any phobias? Obviously, I'm afraid of heights. I know that sounds really silly, but like when people say, do you have any phobias? I think it's weird you have to say you're afraid of heights because shouldn't everyone be afraid of heights? Because like if you fall from a really high height, you'll die. So I don't really understand why everyone isn't afraid of heights. I just think like, am I afraid of heights? Yeah, I'm human. But apparently my fear of heights is slightly larger than the other people in my circle because yeah, I'm pretty afraid of heights. Uh, oddly, not afraid to fly. Love to fly. Uh, you can't see 
out. Like it doesn't look far down. So I guess I'm just afraid of seeing the heights because I love to fly. I love an airport. I love, we just booked our flights for Disney last night with our kids. We're going with our kids and grandkids to Disneyland and with some friends. Um, Sherry, I'm going with Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Sherry's watching. And our daughters and our grandkids. Weird talents. Okay, I've done this weird talent before, but it's my only weird talent. And if you're new here, which a lot of you are new, then you haven't heard my weird talent, which is I can recite the entire McDonald's menu by heart. Now, it's the McDonald's menu from the 80s, probably 1987-ish, because they sent out a 45 record, truly, in the Oregonian newspaper here in Oregon with the McDonald's menu song, which was a jingle they had created, and it had every... Uh, item off of their menu and if and they sent the record home with you and if you could memorize it you got a free cheeseburger and me and my friend Kimberly did it every Sunday for like I don't even know how many Sundays lots of Sundays till we would walk up and they would say here are your cheeseburgers we don't want to hear the jingle I think we were probably like 11 or 12 but here it goes and then I think that'll probably it we'll go out with the bank we'll go out with the McDonald's menu song from 1987 Big Mac McDLT, a quarter pound of wisdom cheese filet, a fish, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a Happy Meal, McNuggets, Tasty Golden French fries, regular or larger sizes, salad, Shepherd Garden, or a chicken salad, Oriental, Big Big Breakfast, Egg McMuffin, hot cakes and sausage, maybe biscuits, bacon, egg and cheese, or sausage, Jane H, hash browns, two, and four dessert, hot apple pies, and Sundays, three varieties of self serve cone, three kinds of shakes and chocolate, each of cookies, and a drink of Coca Cola, Diet Coke, and orange drink of Sprite, coffee, decaf, two, a low fat milk, and also orange juice. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. That's my weird talent. Um, thank you for being here on a crazy 100th episode of Tiny Tidy Tuesday here at The Helpful Home. As always, please click on the link in the description box below and watch all of the other ladies on the Tiny Tidy team do all of their wonderful, motivational, inspirational Tidy Tidies for the week. Hopefully they are more um, efficient and organized than I am this week because I am going to be in bed for a day or two. But um, I will do some sort of Tiny Tidy. I will do some sort of tiny tidy and I will insert it after here. But as always, please don't forget to let us know what we inspired you to tiny tidy today because even on the roughest of days, you can always take one step toward a tinier life, a tidier home, and a tidier mind. Thanks for being here on episode 100 and hopefully on episode 101, I can do an actually upright tiny tidy. And thank you to all the members of my sweet tiny tidy team. I we we wouldn't have kept going this long without you. There are weeks like this where I think like I'm not gonna tiny tidy, but the truth is, you wonderful viewers and subscribers that watch every week, and a lot of you message me on Instagram and you leave beautiful comments. I love when you girls message me on Instagram your tiny tidies. So tag me on Instagram at the helpful home so I can see your tiny tidies. I love the girls that do that, Ginger. I love it. Um but yeah, you're the reason we still do it too, because you tune in every week to watch and any little bit of motivation we can give any of y'all for whatever reason you need a tiny tidy, whether it be health, whether it be full-time working mom, whether it be stay-at-home mom with kids, whether it be just a good solid dose of OCD or ADD or any of the DDDs. Um, yeah, we're here for you because you're here for us and we will continue to be here for you every week on The Helpful Home. Thanks for being here. See you next week. Hopefully from the upright position. Okay, for today's Tiny Tidy, it is two days since I did my Get to Know Me tag, and I am now sitting up in bed. I'm not flat. I'm sitting up. So I've got my trusty steed. <laughs> I've got my Lou, who has taken very good care of mama. Yes, you take a very good care of mama while I recovered. Um, yes, I, I do have a pretty bedspread, but this is the Lou quilt because, because when your dog's taking care of you, you put your, your Lou quilt on the bed. This thing gets washed every, every week. So Lou, I think it's going to be hard to organize my purse with you here, buddy. Anywho, I've got my trusty steed, Louie, taking care of Mama. I'm now seated in an upright position on a wedge because hashtag injured back life. And 
as anyone who is not new here on Tiny Tidy Tuesday knows, the purse tidy is an old standby. If you are unable to move for any reason and you need a quick tiny tidy, I guarantee you your purse needs tidied. And if it doesn't, it's because you just tidied it. So also something we need to do today is, this is very apropos, because I've dumped my larger purse, which had a few things not where it went. Used my tied to go pen. Um, my daughter needed a tissue, used my concealer, my granddaughter's dolly shoe. My larger purse had gotten a little bit um, dishevelly, uh, but it's time when my back flares up, it's time to carry my back friendly purse. So I tend to carry everything. As you can tell, I like to carry all the things, but I do have to condense a bit when I'm having a back injury and carry my small purse. If you can see that that's just about the size of my hand. That's actually quite a tiny purse. It's smaller than it looks on camera. So I'm going to put back together my purse kit, my in a pickle kit, in case you're in a pickle. I didn't come up with that, but I wish I did. There's a lovely lady on the interweb who sells an in a pickle kit. I used hers for a while and then I started making my own because I needed my in a pickle kit to be very specifically tailored to myself. So... So yes, I've got my in a pickle kit. I've got, as always, I've got my manicure kit because know thyself. I even have, what is on my, what is on my manicure kit? There we go. I have a grimy manicure kit and, and I always have a backup set of nails in case like you haven't had your nails done and you just like really are having a bad nail day and you need to go somewhere like heaven forbid, like the president calls and needs you at a dinner stat. I don't know what I think is going to happen to me, but something. And in case I haven't been to the nail salon, I carry a spare set of fake nails. I know priorities. <laughs> I don't know what your priority is. Lou, are you judging me? Don't judge me, Lou. Um, Tic Tacs for my grandbabies. I bribe my grandbabies with Tic Tacs at church. You know, all the things, extra charge. So I'm going to pop these things back in my in a pickle bag and try to make all of this fit in my tiny that weighs much less than my larger purse purse. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I thought I would show you in my pickle bag, I have my favorite gloss. I have both liquid and pencil eyeliner because I wear both. And so in case your eyeliner smudges or you cry it off in the car or whatever, um, I have both eyeliners for a touch up and I have a spoolie to fix my brows in case your brows get unruly while you're out. In that same area is where I keep my concealer. On the other side, I have this little area for my compact. So I'll put my compact in this little pouch because that's just for my compact. And then on this side, I keep my favorite Burt's Bees lip balm, Visine, because does anybody else like need Visine every day? I don't know. I feel like it's a, with age thing. With age, my eyes have gotten dry and I need Visine. Always an eyelash curler. Like number one thing I would carry in the car if I couldn't have this whole pickle bag is an eyelash curler. Know thyself. Um, I've got my favorite Tresemme hairspray. I've got oil blotting wipes for in a pinch. I've got two different sizes of combs. I have band-aids and then in my band-aids, I keep my sewing kit and a pair of foldable scissors. True story. Yeah, that's where I keep my sewing kit. And I've used that sewing kit so many times, I can't even count. Um, my tissues goes right on top of there. And then I zip up my pickle bag. Okay, keys, car keys, truck keys, all the keys go in the zipper pouch. Um, house keys, front and back door, PO box keys, Mail key. Now, I honestly only probably could carry the Subaru keys because I'm not driving the truck anymore, but I feel like I'm often like loaning Claire the keys to the truck or moving the truck because it's in the way. So currently I'm carrying all the keys. Now this is the key to our brand new car, which is Trey fancy. Um, and I've never really had a car like that before, but it just is a key fob. So like you don't have to have keys. So I just tuck this in this zipper pouch when I'm using this small purse. And then I don't have to, um, does that go in? I don't know if that goes in, but 
Okay, maybe it stays out. So that key goes in there because I don't have to pull that key out. If I have that key on me, which I always have my purse on me, then um, I'm able to just start the car with the little starter. Okay, in this pouch is where I keep my spare fake nails. I know, isn't that like crazy? Am I so crazy? I'm so crazy. Always keep a set of spare nails. Ooh, what else I'm missing? Oh no, I've got, I'm sure I have a polish remover wipe in my manicure kit. And then my daughter or my granddaughter and grandson's Tic Tacs for bribery because um, that is a grandma's prerogative. I get to give my grandkids Tic Tacs whenever I want, whenever I see them. So then I've got my pickle bag and my pickle bag goes right inside. My extra charge, always carry an extra charge, goes right beside it. It just slides right in there beside it. My manicure kit, which is like, this is the best. They actually, side note, they had a manicure kit that said um, nails before males, and my daughter wouldn't let me get it because she said it wasn't nice to daddy. But um, I was like, daddy understands me. Nails before males. I got my priorities. Um, I don't know why I sound like I'm from Joyzy, but it, it felt felt appropriate with the nail thing. So um, this is my nail kit. I also threw in two of my favorite nail files along with the rest of the kit. I have my favorite Burt's Bees beeswax balm for your cuticles. I have a set of this beside my bed as well. And what I am missing now that I have it open is a nail polish remover pad. I do keep nail polish remover pads in my purse in case I'm not wearing fake nails or I haven't been to the nail salon and I'm doing my own nails, which sometimes I like to do my own nails. All the nails, all the nails. It's like my favorite thing. Um, in case, in case I chip a nail while I'm out. Because if I chip a nail while I'm out, you better believe I'm in the bathroom at Walmart or wherever I'm at and I'm removing my chipped nail. So I will get that and replace that. I'm going to leave that out so that I replace it, but it goes on the other side of my in a pickle bag. Um, my wallet is actually tidy. That is a coupon. So my wallet has been tidied previously. It slides right there. And then as always, hand sanitizer spray. And I love the grapefruit lemon Trader Joe's spray. And it goes right here on the end. I leave it where I can reach it at all times because if you're in a public restroom and you like, it looks like a grimy hand washing situation. I use that cord to my charger goes in this pouch. And when I leave my earbuds and my cord to my charger go in this pouch. So that is my in a pickle bag. I am going to leave it open, I guess, but it does close very easily closes. Here is my small injured my back purse situation. I will add my nail polish remover pad and put that away. Oh, granddaughter Rosie's shoe. I will slide this next to the Tic Tac so I remember to give that to her. Done. We did it, Lou. You were very helpful. Thanks for being here, pup. Okay, that is my in bed down with your back, tiny tidy for this Tuesday. When in doubt, dump your purse, ladies. Dump your purse.